before I moved in with George, I was living in a hotel. And one night I was really broke. And I went across the street. There's a string of gas stations. Right? So I'm living with... Uh, before I moved in with George, uh, I think it was before I got the apartment with that lady when I was looking for the apartment, mm -hmm. I stayed in Fort Lee for a while because it's closer to the city. Fort Lee? Fort Lee, New okay. Jersey is right across from Manhattan on the bridge. They have all these hotels. It's where a comedy club called Bananas is. If they ever ask you to play Bananas, it's in, it's right there on Route 4 next to the Bada Bing. That's why people go to Bananas because all they right. go to the Bada Bing. So I don't think it's still open. It doesn't matter. But one night I was staying at that hotel and I was hungry one afternoon, and I crossed the street to the gas station because that's how much money I had, and I saw a for help sign. And I asked the guy, what, what are you looking for? And he goes, I need to marry a pump gas from 4 to 12. I go, okay, can, when can I start? He goes, tonight. He goes, what's your name? I'm like, Ryan Sickler. He's like, Ryan Sickler, okay. I see you at four o'clock. So I come back and I realize I'm by myself. So he trains me for the first hour. In Jersey and in Oregon, they pump gas. Yep, still, right? Isn't still. it illegal to pump your own You're gas right. in Jersey? Yeah. That's so, crazy to me. You gotta pump gas. That's These Oregon are, still, too? Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh. I haven't been, uh, but I'm it is still Jersey in 2020. I think in Oregon, they're just lighting people on fire yeah, right now. Yeah, you're right. right. They got they're bigger problems. Gas. Don't worry they got bigger about problems. <laughs> don't worry about the guy pumping you're right gas. About that. that guy's <laughs> pumping gas with a hook right now. <laughs> Man, <laughs> pumping gas on the crowd, lighting the whole fire. It's crazy up there right now. So. I went across the street and I'm pumping all this gas and he told me, he goes, it's night, light, night time, so drop every time you got 500 in your pocket. Put an envelope, put what time, sign this paperwork and put a drop in there. I didn't, I didn't see the reason to, you know? So every hour, like he told me, I take like a dollar bill and drop it, a dollar a bill dollar and drop bill. it. Because for some reason it was like computerized. He goes, I'll find that in my house if you don't drop. So about fucking two o'clock, I realized I got about $1,200. Plus what's ever in the register, plus the food, plus he's got a box of change under the fucking register. So I took everything. <laughs> I, I took everything at three o'clock. Hershey bars, the whole fucking thing. And I just walked across Route 4, jumped over the fucking banister, <laughs> in the side of it, cars were whizzing by me doing 90, and I went home. The next morning I look up, I look out my hotel window, cops are there, yeah. the whole thing. People have been pumping gas for free for four hours. Cause I just left, I just left, I just left. I just left, right? I forgot about so, the so I said, fuck. He calls that motherfucker. <laughs> he was pissed. He oh, came back. His man. name was Ryan Sinclair. <laughs> so I figured this out. But here's the problem you got. You got a row of gas stations going yeah. that way, and you got a row of gas stations going this way. For me, that's a fucking hit. Yeah. So I wait like three days. Sure enough, oh. I go to the gas station. Two doors down from that guy. <laughs> that moron needs help. 12 to 8. But here's the story. The real story was my buddy worked at Hess. Hess. I used to get the trucks. Hess gas station. Yeah, yeah. He was the manager. I still talk to this guy. He's still one of my best friends in the oh, world. Yeah. So I told him to give me a list of anybody who ever got fired for stealing. And he sent me a list of names. So I would apply under those names. Yeah, yeah. So now I was smart the second time. The second time I went in there, what's your name? Tony Ramirez. Where have you pumped gas? Hess. When we hawking yet? Yeah. When can you start? What do you got? Twelve to eight. I'm in. I get there at twelve, and again, once I get a thousand, that's it. That's it. I put a dollar in the envelope. Pew, I just walk <laughs> off. Even if I was working oh, with a guy, and you're like, leaving the you're always working with some guy in a jacket on. I'd say, listen, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Pew. Oh, I shit. did this every two gas stations. Then I went across the street and worked myself back. 1200, 1800. God. It, it was damn. always something. And that's that old school gas shit where you pulled the lever out yeah, of the way. Yeah, there was none of that bullshit. And then I hung yeah. pipe. And then you also used to hung ga hang gas. Mm -hmm. Hang gas means Brian Sickler's a broke fuck. He comes in and gets $4 worth of gas. When Lee comes in for gas, guess who's swallowing that four? Lee is. That four is going right into Lee's. I'm going to put that thing in without popping the thing back. 
I remember because you had to pop it yeah, all the way right. back. Yeah, you did. But if you didn't pop it all the way back and just put it in there, yeah. the car would move up. And then that make believe it's already on four. By yeah. the time I'm putting it in, right, you're like, oh. I'm making the first four dollars. <laughs> this was hysterical. It was called. I mean, my God. Yeah, hanging pumps. That's what it was. That's, that's what, what me called. and my friends called it. Hanging pumps. So I would hang pumps. Not only would I hang pumps, I wasn't even gonna pay for I wasn't even gonna pay the gas man anyway. So I did that all around that gas station. Of course. Not. All the way back. And then I took my then I took my show on the road. And I took it down to South Jersey. It's like my show. And I started hitting them all over South Jersey. <laughs> Every day I take a bus. And it was oh, hilarious. God. I would take a bus to a new area, get out, see a gas station, walk to three of them and get high by one. I go somewhere, eat, and stand there like an asshole for six hours until I had to go back at four to train because they take. Can you start today at four? Fuck yeah, I'll start today at four. And I'd get back there at four o'clock. I'd pump gas till oh, 10. Shit. I'd be working with some guy. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, but hurry up. We're not running a chatter here. All right, yeah, good. And I'd just go. Sometimes I'd call George. <laughs> I would call George, I go, George, meet me there at 10 after 9. Why 10 after 9? Just be there at 10 after 9. And George would be there thinking he was just picking me up, coming off the bus. I'd get in the car and go, hit it. Why? <laughs> just hit it because I just robbed the guy. What are you talking about? You robbed the guy. He <laughs> would just fly. <laughs> I give him two bills, here's 200. Don't worry about oh, nothing. So God. tell me what happened. So one time, <laughs> I did this all over New Jersey. Oh, my God. This was God. hysterical. This is fucking hysterical. So now, I'm not gonna tell you the name of the place. This is a huge gas station. Like to pull this one off, it was like Ocean's Eleven. You know what I'm saying? Because like, <laughs> they had like 18 gas guys. This place is huge. Like a truck stop? Like a truck stop. Yeah. So like I a Flying J, let's just, you know. Yeah, sure yeah. enough, fucking boom. The fucking, they need me from four to 12. And it's nonstop. It's about to rain. So I'm going from one car to the other. Everybody, 20s, 20s, 10s, 15s. The, the fucking thing is getting Stack, thicker. Yeah. Stacked. My hands are filthy from all the dollars I'm, I'm having. They had to have four guys on one island, you know, just pumping doubles. You're doing big rigs and shit yeah, like that, I'm too. I'm doing everything. Yeah. I'm doing everything. I'm pumping gas. No, I, I, I wasn't doing diesel. I was just doing cars. So I'm doing cars. And all of a sudden, the fucking the sky is starting to turn gray. I'm doing cars, I'm doing cars. The sky is starting to turn gray. I'm like, fuck. And I called George. And I asked the guy, I go, hold on, can I go make a call? And I called George at his mom's shop. And he goes, I can't get to you. We got a special order, man. I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. I go, fuck. So I got like 2,000 in my pocket. I'm working it. It's about to rain. But it was also park and drive mm -hmm. is that what they call them park and ride where park people ride. Uh, you meet and get in one car yes yeah, park and ride we ride. used to have those all and, over and, maryland and there's buses that go into yep. new york from there so sure enough park and ride. i'm looking at these buses and they're lining up and you get on any of them because they're all going to new york and i see all these people so I'm, i got like two g's 2100 i go up to a little fucking indian dude and i go listen i gotta go take a shit i got diarrhea huh, heady up was busy, mom. Can't you see this? I go, yeah. And I dodge to the bathroom, but I just come out the side door. There's a ton of people, and I just mix into the New York line. And I get on the bus, and I'm watching this fucking guy. And this guy is pumping gas, and he's looking at the door to see if he sees me. He's pumping gas. He's looking at the door. And after about five minutes, I'm getting itchy. My bus is, I'm waiting for the bus to fill. Okay, you're okay, on the guy's early. not yeah. gonna get off until <laughs> right. the bus fills up. I'm like, God damn it, I got on the wrong bus. I'm on the second bus, and there's still a bus in front of me. And now I see the guy go, you know, like, hold on one second, and he goes in there looking for me. Now I see the guy run out, and like, he's like looking around for me, <laughs> and he runs back to his little fucking friends, and he's like, you know, he, and I'm watching all this go down. And all of a sudden, he runs into the office, and he gets on a fucking phone. And they're fucking calling somebody, and then they're all looking around, and another guy goes in there looking for me, and I'm telling the bus driver, let's go! <laughs> let's go! It's gonna it's fucking, fucking rain! The and I mean, the fucking sky, the skies are fucking turning gray and shit, and they're looking around, and finally when my bus takes off, 
As my bus takes off, they're all looking around like, where the hell did this guy go? One of them figured out, he's on one of those buses. So I'm like, oh no. So as I'm pulling out of there, I see cops pulling in. Oh shit. I'm dead. So bus pulls out, I figure they're gonna arrest us when we get into Port Authority. I get to Port Authority, there's not a cop inside. I walk out to Broadway. They didn't stop you when nothing, you were leaving? Nothing. Oh, no shit. Nothing. We didn't stop them. Oh, we got on Route 3, right to New York. <laughs> I went, I picked up George. We took a shower, we got dressed, and we went to this club in the city with another friend of mine, Devo. And we went to the club, and the Eurythmics were there hanging out, just hanging out. Like, you couldn't even talk to them nothing. I thought I was a fucking big shot and shit. But I stayed with, and at that time I was just doing creepy shit. How much would you say average you probably hit in the gas stations? At 1,500 to two grand a pop? A pop, yeah. And like, about what, like a the dozen? Biggest, yeah, like. Wow, what's maybe, the biggest? Maybe yeah. like, it was like 2,400 and I hit like 15 of them. God, but I had damn. a thousand scams going. I just didn't want to stick to one scam. I wanted to throw enough spaghetti. I would do something for two weeks, mm -hmm. then lay off it. Because I know now they were hot for it. Mm -hmm.